stick or you can go. Yeah, sure, like these Columbia guys are going. 6K. Trier, and you can see the uh, snow caps in the background. Uh, we got one last climb to do, and it's going to be a bugger. Getting up there. So here we are. Before the telegraph climb, we survived a terrible freezing descent in Mount Cenis. Full on snowstorm. Discovered roads closed. We finally made it. Here we are. En France. Mex. Beautiful mountains. It's very warm here in the sun. Hello, hello, Suzanne. <laughs> Day number, I don't even know what. We're in the middle of it. We can see the end. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Siempre. We're ready today. Massive expedition of 182 gotcha. kilometers to Langeron. With me, Rudy, or Colioni Fatch, <laughs> Christopher, and Theodore. See. Si. Oh, there's a big one over there. There's Rudy. Rudy! <laughs> <laughs> Heading to the Stelvio. First guy to do the Stelvio. Big day. Looking forward to it. Let's see if we can get over the passes. We're not sure. We're going to go as far as we can. I'm sure, we'll get through. I got my snow boots on, snow tires. I'll clock in my back. See you later. Cosa dici Tim? Bello, no? Top of the world as far as Italy is concerned. This is what we rode three weeks for. Here we are. Got my November jersey. Remember this? Couldn't even see two feet in front of us. Today it's a different world.
Brasile e vince la gara. There's no running short, it's not very short kick. That's what the difference is. It's good, oh, eh? really good. Let's move our table out of it. Mm. I dropped some euro. Euro. Get, get out of here! <laughs> here we are at the 2013 Giro d'Italia after three long, arduous weeks. We sit with Ted Velocogna, a unique individual who has accomplished something that I would think, I would assume that no other individual has. He has completed the entire distance of the Giro d'Italia one day in front of the pros, all by himself, and then some. Can you explain what uh, what went on over these three weeks, Ted? Oh, well, you know, the first week was relaxing, riding, you know, uh, south of Italy, on uh, the Amalfi Coast, and we head up north, and then we hit snow. And there were days we didn't know whether we'd be able to go up a mountain, and there were days we didn't know if we'd be able to get down the mountain. So it's, uh, it's been a grueling three weeks for sure. I can attest to that. We, we had heat, we had wind, we had rain, and then we had snow. Through the flats, the climbs, the descents, it's, uh, it's not an easy feat. And to accomplish 3,400 kilometers? 54. What happened on Ted's journey is he actually did more than the pros because the pros had some of the uh, some of the tough stages canceled due to weather and snow uh, over the Gavia and the Stelvio, and uh, Ted did those stages and they didn't. So uh, you're even that's what I mean by being one step ahead of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was quite you know it couldn't have been done without the team. I mean, uh, Tim. Uh, Pulled uh, so many days in the wind and uh, made sure that I was safe and uh, uh, guided us through a lot of uh, days where we didn't have markers and uh, we weren't quite sure where we were going, but we made it. <laughs> we made it and we're here enjoying, uh, about to enjoy the actual stage of the, the last stage of the Giro, come into the streets of Brescia and do seven laps and uh, we're excited to see the boys come into town and uh, we'll have a celebratory dinner tonight. And uh, from all of us, congratulations, Ted, on your accomplishment. Thank you, thank you, and on to the Volta. The Volta is next. <laughs>